Peter. Hi, Laura. I'm here with Peter Wyman, and Peter is um, our new coordinator of our Justice Ministries. We are looking forward to seeing how that is uh, going to evolve here at Redmond United Methodist Church. And as um, a, a lay person and leader in our church, I'm here to ask him a few questions so you can get to know him a little bit better. Um, Peter, where did you grow up? So I was born in Buffalo, New York, grew up on Long Island, moved from Long Island to Brussels, Belgium, from Brussels, Belgium to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and then back to the United States to finish off my education and schooling. Wow, you've been quite a, around the world. <laughs> and Seattle is the best place. Okay, where do you call home? Definitely yes. Seattle, okay. I've been right here. Good, good. Um, well, speaking of Redmond, what's your favorite place to eat here in Redmond? So that's an interesting question. So the bottom line is my favorite place to eat is anywhere that Francine and I are eating together. And the reality is that I would just as soon make a nice dinner at home and enjoy relaxing at home with Francine and watch a movie. Very nice. And by the way, I'm going to throw a plug in. If you'd like to experience Peter's cooking, come to Open Kitchen on Wednesday evenings. <laughs> <laughs> I am one of many people that helps in the kitchen, at Open Kitchen. Uh, so, Peter, what Bible character would you like to learn more about? So that's a really interesting question, and I kind of thought about that. And each one of the characters uh, in the Bible um, are, are fascinating to me. Fascinating from the standpoint that uh, they, they, all of them have degrees of weaknesses, okay, that I associate with my own personality, and yet all of them, for the most part, generally have some redemptive qualities that come through. So I'm looking for the process to understand what areas of improvement I can make, and I look at all of them equally. In that so you don't have one that you want to learn more specifically about, and you can say no. <laughs> and the response would be, I believe they're all important. Okay, that's good. Um, what does it mean for you to be a leader of a church? A leader in the church is a little bit scary mm -hmm. uh, because it's fundamentally different than a leader in uh, corporate America. There's a, there's a standard okay, of integrity and of uh, commitment that is so much more for the church itself because it's not just uh, the organization that you're representing, okay, but, but the, uh, the faith and the desire and the opportunities for each and every person in that congregation uh, to become something different, to become something new, and to become something better. And that means that in that process, somehow, that better be working on me at the same time. <laughs> so you see it working within you as well as As in well the as with that, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. On both, on both sides of the whole thing. So it's, uh, so it's daunting, yeah. uh, and it's fun. Um, and as you know, our purpose, our mission at Redmond UMC is to love, serve, and grow. Um, if you had to pick one, which I'm asking you to do, that speaks to you most, which one would you choose and why? So I go with grow because okay. love and serve, okay, are almost precursors to real growth. So they, they almost are, you know, you know, one, two, and three, and grow kind of being the result of mm -hmm. the others. Good. And then, um, what are you most grateful for at the end of the day? Grace. Hmm. Absolutely grace. Great. You want to say any more? What about grace? Are you, what, what does grace do? Grace allows me uh, to, um, to know that it could get better, mm -hmm. that I could be better, uh, that uh, I've reached a point not necessarily by my own volition, uh, but by the very grace of God. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm very grateful for that because if I had to be judged just on me, this would have been over a long time ago. <laughs> and then, what are you least grateful for at the end of the day? Those opportunities where I didn't rise to the occasion, where mm -hmm. I let the little me get in the way of, of the spirit. Anything else you'd like to say about yourself? Well, not, 
not particularly. I'm, uh, I'm interested in what justice will be here in the uh, Redmond United Methodist Church. And I'm interested in kind of discovering that in conjunction with everybody together. Because I think a lot of the times we think about justice and we, and we often think about it in moments. Okay, this is fair, this isn't fair. And, and I think that is an aspect of justice, but real justice is on the longer arc of time. You know, what is the, uh, what, what is the quality that, that equalizes? And, and that's, that's a, a whole different scenario than just a moment-to-moment -moment type of thing. And uh, that really, really talks about um, uh, a real balance. Good. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Please join us on Sunday for a discussion about justice, what it might mean to us, what we as a congregation should respond to, and we're going to have just basically a conversation and try to figure out where we are with the whole process. It'll be in the sanctuary after the service on Sunday, and we'd really like you to participate and share your thoughts about what justice means to you and what our response ought to be as a church. See you there.